The Cleveland House of Horrors. Before that day, his neighbors said they never saw anything unusual. I mean, nothing. Dude was a school bus driver back all the way to the early 90s. He barbecued, he played an instrument. The mismatch of his outward life and the garden of horrors he tended inside can't be overlooked. It shows how good he was at creating a surface. But in reality, this malformed weirdo who lived in a residential part of Cleveland in a close-knit Latino community stole the innocence of three girls in order to satisfy his desires. This is Ariel's Garden of Horrors, this episode's evil nonfiction segment. Denise had been kidnapped and brought to her cell when she was just 11 years old, and in her early teens she became pregnant by her captor. Her daughter Mary, also in terrible condition but not beyond help, is adopted by her psychiatrist and his wife and given the name Sally Diamond. And when her adoptive dad dies, she does what he has always said, When I go, just put me out with the bins. She attempts home cremation in order to put him out with the bins. At the new dungeon, the monstrous cycle continues. Don't be scared. Subscribe to Season 1 for free in your podcast app. Then, be scared. Scared. Scared.